Hey everybody, I am really excited today. 1-29-2015, really exciting ZBrush 4R7 is here and I'm getting ready to install it. So let's, let's do this together. Double click. Okay, not responding so that means it's thinking. Maybe not. Okay, there it goes. Doing something. Here we go. Trust. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long for this. Once it initializes, this can take... <gasps> yes. Okay, next. Yeah, I, I agree. They're not going to sell my kidneys. Program C. Good. Yes. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Setup is now ready to install. Good. Oh, exciting. It's almost mine. This was a fun scene to watch that guy make. I'm excited to make things like this and others. Pretty sweet. Nice. It is 3.50. I got uh, online early in the morning. I checked my cell phone and it was available and I, I was so excited I got right out of bed and I started to uh, view the video which was 49 minutes long. And then after the video everybody was trying to download ZBrush, right? So the website was down, so about two hours later I was able to download the installer and now I'm just just installing it on my computer. I'm really excited that uh, Q remesher thing that the guy talked about. Yeah. I'm gonna be able to make cool stuff like this. Sweet. Okay, almost done. Yes! Installing. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna make that stuff for the zombies that keep invading my house. Well, it's on social medias like follow, like, pin, and share. Facebook, Google, plus. Still installing. Almost done. Yay! I'm excited. I just hope it doesn't ask me for any registration numbers because I'm not sure what they are right now. Creating uninstaller. I'm not going to need this. Yes, okay. ZBrush Central is the place. Okay, yada yada. Good. Launch ZBrush 4 7 32 bit. What? Wasn't it 64 bit? Um, hmm. I've got a 64 bit machine. I'm. I'll install this and then see what I need to do to get the 64-bit. Oh, I probably didn't read the uh, instructions or something. Um, huh. Darn. If this loads up as a 32-bit, I'm going to uninstall it and then reinstall. <laughs> I just said I wasn't going to use the uninstall, but I might uninstall it and then reinstall 64-bit version just so I can utilize the full power. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this is... I'm going to close this. Right. It said after it was done, it was going to install or open up. So I, I'm not going to do anything. Mm-hmm. It's doing its thing. Okay, what's happening? Hmm. There was a web page that I was able to get the, or download this installer. I should have read the whole web page. I just clicked on the first download link. There might have been two download links for 32 bit and 64 bit versions. Um, it's not doing its thing, so I'm gonna search ZBrush. No, it, it's... Yeah, okay. ZBrush. Yes! Okay, let's open it. Pretty sweet. This is a first look at 32, yeah, 32 version. Um, I might have to... Yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm going to read this real quick. Please select an activation option. 
from the choices below. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna reinstall this and then uh, make another video of installing the 64-bit version instead because I've got a 64-bit machine. So yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is ZBrush 4R7. Pretty exciting. Oh, silly me. I was reading the facts uh, for the 32-bit version that I opened up. I thought I only installed that version, but apparently installing the ZBrush 4R7 installs both versions, 32-bit and 64-bit. So if I hit my Windows key and then type ZBrush, I picked the first one. I still haven't deactivated 4R6, but there is ZBrush 4R7 and 4R7 64-bit. So it's there. I'm, I'm really excited. I don't, I'm glad I don't have to download that stuff again because it might not have worked. So yeah, let's open up ZBrush 4R7 64-bit and just take a real quick glance at what it does. It probably looks exactly the same as ZBrush 4R5 or, and, or six, all the other versions. Ooh, that's new. Pretty intense. This looks a little different. Yeah, okay. Please select an activation method. Uh, web activation best. This usually works. So hold on, I'll activate this real quick. Hmm, this is what it was like when I was trying to install it earlier. Or at least open up the web page. It looks, it, initially it looks like Pixelogic.com is um, having lots of users trying to download it like they should be. Half of America probably is. So this is a first look for me, but maybe not to most of you. Okay, it's still thinking, so hopefully this... Uh, I'll give it a few more times, or chances. Uh, really quickly, I'm trying to uninstall ZBrush 4 or 6 to see if that helps the process. Okay, I closed everything down and I'm trying it one more time. It's loading. Sweet, okay, same thing as last time. Web activation, best. Let's hope it doesn't uh, freak out. Mm. Looking good. It says it's connecting, so that's decent. Oh, darn. Well, it doesn't look like it's doing anything right now, so I'm going to ugh, retry one more time. Okay, web activation. Now it's going to load. If not, then I'll just make another video later when I get this all figured out. Doesn't look like it. This was the Twist to Horrors from 2013. Uh, ZBrush. Oh, darn. No, okay. I will make another video when I get this website working and I will have a nice first look at what ZBrush 4 or 7 is uh, all about. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yes! Yes! It's mine! ZBrush 4R7! Cool! This is a first look 64-bit version. I just opened it, and let's uh, cube, cube, zoom, or smooth. Let's open that up. I have no idea what this is going to be like. Nice. Feels like ZBrush. Okay, B. Q Z modeler. Nice. Okay, how does this work? Um, 
Oh, man. But yeah, okay, Z modeler. And then M. No, how did I? Oh, yeah, right click. Okay. Let's see. Q mesh, single poly island. Let's do island. Okay, yeah, yeah. Phone. Sweet. Such power. Look at that. Oh. Okay, if I adjust the brush size. Um, okay, let's uh, right click. Flat. No. Metal, um, this is all totally new to me. Wow. Um, bevel. Bevel. No. Inflate. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. So. What is that doing? <gasps> sweet! Pretty nice. Totally sweet. The first thing I made in ZBrush 4 R7 is a Twinkie. Let's give it a nice color. Uh, F to frame. Different material. Probably... Uh, no, I don't like that. Um, toy plastic. Yes. Okay. Make it a little lighter. No, that's not a that. That's a Twinkie. Twinkie. Zoom out. I think I've got a few programs open, so it's acting weird like this. Okay. Let's frame our Twinkie. Ah, no. <laughs> Pretty sick. Ah, what, what's going on? Okay. Okay. Yes. Now F. Yeah, there's my Twinkie. Sweet. Pretty intense. Okay, let's uh, render. BPR, BPR filters. Turn that on, this on. Let's just do a random... Okay, let's see what that looks like. No, that's gonna make it look different. Okay. BPR render. I don't have uh, the other program that uh, it renders to, but... First, wow, that is a pretty Twinkie. <laughs> this is the first Twinkie I've made in ZBrush 4R7, and you gotta see it. Thanks for watching, everybody.